Hallelujah. Glory to God. So as I was saying, we need to get into a special enclosure. We need to start forming a loving relationship. Our relationship with the Lord has to be of that of a, of a supernatural kind. And the Lord is going to do something really powerful for our lives. He's going to show us things of the kingdom that is going to be of great usefulness for those that, that need to have a loving relationship with the Father. Now, as I mentioned in the last segment, we need time to spend in a quiet place. If we're going to spend time with the Lord, we need to minus the distractions. We need to minus certain distractions in our life. We need to take away that which is going to... We need to take away those things that are going to take away our communication with the Lord. We need to make ourselves available to the Lord. We need to make ourselves available to the Holy Spirit. Our relationship with the Lord needs to be in a powerful relationship. We need to develop a strong relationship with the Lord. We need to develop it. Now, how do we develop? We have to go with our heart's desire first. Our heart's desire has to be the most key thing. When we get into the Lord's presence, we get into the very presence of the Lord Jesus Christ. Our relationship with the Lord gets supernatural from that point on. Because when the Lord tells us to do something for the kingdom, and I'm going to use several things as an example. When the Lord tells us, I want you to go into a, a supermarket and I want you to buy X amount of dollars worth of groceries and take it to a widow. Now, someone may ask, okay, I'm going to a supermarket to waste money and to take it to someone that is a widow. You're not, take this into consideration. The Lord wants to see how obedient you are. In order to remove the stagnant in your life, in order to remove that which is separating you or keep it, keeping you separated from prospering, in order for you to go into another level, obedience is required. Obedience needs to follow through. If the Lord tells you, I want you to spend a couple of dollars so that you could get some, some widow's groceries, get a widow some, some groceries, whatever the type of groceries you, you may desire to give. It's not because the Lord wants you to spend money. It's because the Lord wants to bless you with something greater. I mentioned in the last uh, segment that we need to spend time praying, developing a long, a long relationship with the Lord Jesus, taking the time to spend in the presence of the Lord, taking the time and the moment to seeking his face, taking the time and the moment to form a dialogue with the Lord Jesus Christ. 
The distractions, yes, they are distractions. The phone ringing. When you're in prayer, there's going to be some moment in time that, you, you know, you're going to hear, you know, and, and out of the blue, it breaks that connection that you had with the Holy Spirit. It breaks that, that divine connection. And the Lord wants you to go in to a supernatural relationship, but those distractions are the ones that pull you away. To give you a, an illustrative idea of how that works, you're doing prayer, intense prayer, and in the background, you hear the phone ring, but two things can happen. You could keep on praying and, and remain in the, in the presence of the Lord, or if it's something important, you could, you could stand up and go over to the phone and, and you know, choose to answer the phone and, and help the person, whoever may, may be calling. When, if you choose to wait until the until they you know put a message on the on the answering machine you chose correctly why because your relationship with the lord has to be of great importance you need to develop a loving relationship with the lord you need to develop communication you need to remove all the sidetracks, all of the distractions from your life. When you come into a place that you're going to battle in the battlefield of, of the spirit realm, all these distractions need to be minus. It needs to be removed from your place. And those things that you're going to go into when you're going into the, your, the presence of the Lord. The Lord is going to be of great importance in your life. You're going to see how the Lord is going to bring you into the next level relationship. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You're going to see how the presence of the Lord goes into a new relationship, how, goes into a deeper and powerful relationship like never before. God is going to do something really powerful, but in order for, for it to come to pass, we need to develop that loving relationship. We need to spend time into that loving relationship. We need to develop time in that loving relationship. As we develop that relationship, the Lord is going to broaden the prophetic anointing or the word of knowledge that, it, that the Lord is going to use you for. When Jesus was in, in, the, in the place of worship, in the wilderness, in the mountains, he wanted his relationship with the Lord to, to be constant. He wanted the relationship to keep on moving. This relationship had to be of great, it was of great importance to the Lord Jesus. Why? He wanted the relationship to be intense. Jesus was in heaven for a long period of time. But when he came down, as the Bible describes, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. In order for us to have that type of a relationship, Jesus Christ came down in the flesh to be one of us, to be a part of us, to have a loving relationship with him. His disciples had had a very strong relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. 
And the reason why they had a very strong relationship is because they spent time together. He was teaching them. He was ministering beside them. He was doing signs and wonders alongside of him. And as the Lord became, you know, with them, when, when it came time for, for the Lord Jesus to depart, he told them, I'm going to send the comforter. I'm going to send you a helper. And that helper is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit becomes a part of our lives. Worshiping the Holy Spirit brings us closer to a relationship that is inseparable. Our ways of living has to, it, it has to be of that, of forming a loving relationship with the, with the Holy Spirit. And as 1 John 2.27 comes into play, the Holy Spirit is the greatest teacher that we could ever have in our lives, the greatest teacher. This is why we need to spend time. We need to spend time in a loving relationship with the Lord, with the Holy Spirit. We need to spend time praying in the Spirit. We need to develop a long and everlasting communication with the Holy Spirit. There, there was moments in time where Peter, the Apostle Peter, spent so much time in the Spirit that his, his you know, persona have withstanded a powerful anointing. That type of anointing has developed throughout the years that, you know, when he walks through his shadow, began healing people, began removing demonic spirits. His, his shadow, his presence, the presence that the Holy Spirit was on Peter, it was doing, he was doing deliverances, deliverances throughout all, all, of, uh, all of the places where he was at. When people came to, to visit him, they came from afar. And as, as the sun was, was, you know, was giving a shadow, his shadow was healing people. His shadow was, was, was bringing, you know, deliverances and certain healings. Why? Because of the relationship that he had with the Holy Spirit. It's because of that relationship that he bonded with the Holy Spirit like never before. Now, another question arises. Can a person in these end of times have that type of relationship? My answer to you, yes. But it takes time. You have to take tenac you have to be tenacious in order to be in this type of relationship. You have to develop a very strong relationship with the Holy Spirit. The more you spend time separating yourselves in a shut away, this is key, listen closely. The more you spend time in a shut away without the distractions. Just you, the Bible, and the Holy Spirit. The more you spend time, the better the quality of the relationship you form with the Holy Spirit. Yes, we need to fellowship. Yes, we need to have, you know, certain communication because iron does sharpen iron at one point of time in our lives. We do need to fellowship. We do need to minister to other people. Earlier on in the beginning of this second segment, I mentioned that there was going to come a time where the Holy Spirit will tell you, I want you to go to the grocery store and go buy groceries 
for a certain widow. Now, people might think, well, I'm going to be wasting valuable money to do groceries, but you're not getting, you're not going to see the prophetic aspect of it. You see, something that the Lord is requiring you to do, there's going to be a level of obedience that is going to come right after. Because once you obey the Lord to do that very thing, that act of kindness to provide food for a widow, that act of kindness is going to bring back folds and over, you know, fold over fold over several folds of blessings in your life. As you develop a loving relationship, like just like the Holy Spirit wants, the Holy Spirit is going to say, all right, now we could take it up a notch. Now we get to, to have a stronger relationship. We get to have a more deeper relationship. The more we obey the Holy Spirit, the better the relationship there is. In the last segment, I, I was speaking of, of a prophetic word to certain people that are going in through stagnant at this time. There are certain people that are watching this, this uh, broadcast on YouTube and on Facebook Live. There are certain people that are experiencing this stagnant. And you have been asking the Lord Help you out. Help me out. I'm struggling, especially with this, this thing of COVID-19. The bills are getting way behind, and there are certain things that need to get prayed, that need to get paid. Now, bear this in mind. When the Lord tells you, you know, in your, in your special time that you're praying and asking the Lord, when the Lord tells you to do something, do it. Don't ask questions of, of what the Holy Spirit asks you. Don't ask questions of why so much money do I have to invest. In order to break something that is weighing us down, we have to develop something that would break in the spirit realm. We have to break the stagnant that's going, that's in the, in the spirit realm. And this stagnant is of a poverty kind. There is a poverty spirit moving around as a result of COVID-19. A lot of people, they are experiencing a lot of hardship a lot of, you know, um, backlash, if I could say it in that prophetic way. And as a result, they're, they're seeking, you know, finances where, where finances shouldn't be seeked. They're seeking help from the government that later on it's going to develop the, of paying back. But they haven't sought the Lord. And this is something of great importance because when the Lord tells you to do something, it is to break that hardship that you're going through. This level of obedience, when you learn to listen to the Holy Spirit, whatever the case may be, whether it's $10 or $500 or $1,000, that is to break the, the stagnant that you're going through. It is to break it. You might not think that, that you know, it's someone asking you for, for a certain finances. No. It's to break something in the spirit realm that is holding you back from prospering. Whether you know this or not, the enemy is is. Pull, pulling everybody back as a resulting as a result of COVID-19. This hardship 
has brought everybody down, has brought a, a lot of faith down. A lot of people are struggling as a result of COVID-19. But here's the reason why we need to go into a shut-in and asking the Lord for help. This is the reason why we must be obedient. We must show the Lord obedience. And as we show the Lord obedience, the Lord is going to show yet again his love for us. Because that, that requirement, that seed that the Lord wants you to sow, that seed is going to break open the windows of heaven on your behalf. It's going to break open the wonderful miracles that come as a result of obedience. It's going to break open and pull away that stagnant that you're going through. A lot of people, they might not see it that way but it's to break that very thing. And if you want to break away from that stagnant, the Lord wants you to require one thing. Do your best to, to believe in the prophetic word and, and show the Lord, I want to be released from this stagnant. I want to be released from this hardship. I'm going to show the best seed that I can, and I'm going to prophetically declare that I will never lack ever again in the mighty name of Jesus. I will never lack ever again for my family. I will never lack ever again for my business. Once that relationship drops into your heart, Prepare for God's anointing power to take over. Prepare for God's anointing power to take over. Because once you show obedience, the only thing that the Lord needs to do is to answer back. He has to answer to the call of the supernatural. The Lord has to answer to the prophetic anointing that you are declar declaring over your seed. He has to bring an answer to prayer. He has to bring an answer to prayer. He is bound by his word. Mm -hmm.